Right, so the last one, so question four. Uh, so we have a number of pictures and uh, we're looking at the log magnitudes of the uh, 2D Fourier transforms. And uh, we need to uh, <clears throat> identify, you know, to pair them with their, the pictures, okay? So these are the four pictures uh, we're looking at. All right, so it says here that, um, so on the left you have the original picture and you have to match, that, match them to the, um, the, the power spectrum. And um, these were estimated using the uh, 2D DFT. So does somebody has an idea, a vague idea of where to start, okay? At least to identify this, you know. Okay, F a few comments. I'm just asking for input from you, okay? So do you have any, any comment? Maybe not the, the, the correct solution, but maybe some comment to make? Yes. Too many ones to have a match for two. B and H, right? Right, so what would you say? Oh no, A to D, G to F. All right, so what would you say A to D and, um, um, what would you say that? Um, because there's a lot of change in that orientation. Okay, yeah, all right. So, to, so what you see on A is you have a very strong frequency and a particular direction, right? And so you say on D, you have something similar, um, and on F as well. Okay? Um, so indeed, so correct, so A and G are matched to D and F, and you just have to find what the angle is to say, you know, this is what you obtain, okay? So this is correct, okay? And, and the uh, B and H are very typical of what you see in natural images. So in natural images, uh, well, in this case, it's a painting, but uh, you have a bit of a bit of everything. You have you know uh, strong contrast, and you have uh, more um, flat area. So the, the spectrum is way more spread out. Okay. So here, D and F, you can see these are synthetic images with uh, only an, uh, a few non-zero frequencies. You can see there's some kind of a horizontal and vertical. Uh, uh, lines in the, uh, in the power spectrum in D and F. So if you look at D and F, you can really see this, uh, the, the, this one direction of frequency, but you can as well see these horizontal and vertical lines. What would they correspond to? All right, so it has to do with the way We've computed, we've estimated the Fourier, um, the, the, the Fourier transform, okay? So we use the 2D DFT, so direct Fourier transform, uh, well, in that case, the, using the FFT, directly onto the picture. And usually to do that, to compute the, uh, an estimate of the Fourier, or the, Fourier uh, the, um, the, the, the power spectrum, you will need to do uh, an extra step before applying the FFT uh, straight onto the picture. Do you remember what we do? So we've done that for a few of the other ones. So we looked at blocks. I say you need to window the, uh, the blocks, okay? So basically here, um, you kind of assume that 
the picture A repeats, you know, is a, you, know you repeat that in, in space, uh, so horizontally and vertically. So you tile that. So at the, when you go from the, uh, from the, the right to the left, back to the left, uh, then you, you see a big discontinuity. So in fact, you have a, uh, a strong horizontal and a strong vertical discontinuity, uh, which you don't see um, on the picture, but actually just because the picture wraps itself. Okay, so you go from the, uh, it's a bit like Pac-Man, okay, you go on top and you still go, come back from the bottom, right? So, and that will create uh, a discontinuity. Um, all right, so more subtle, okay, right. Um, can you see? Yeah, you can see that. How would you distinguish between, um, so you know C and E are matched to B and H, but which one is which? That's a subtle effect, okay? I might first zoom in on what these two pictures look like, okay? So this is the, right? So one is a, um, basically cropped that version to, you know, it's a crop of that. Or zoom in if you want. And here's the, the power spectra, B and H. All right, so if you zoom on the, on the picture, what is the effect on the power spectrum, on the Fourier transform? Yeah. All right. So when you, so that's, so that's something like that. So when you, when you zoom in in your power spectrum, you zoom out on your, um, on your power spectrum. All right. So when you zoom in on your picture, you zoom out on your power spectrum. So here you can see. Okay, it's very subtle. It's a bit hard question, but if you look here, uh, sorry. The, if you look at the corners here, um, the corners are still bright, whether the corners here are darker, okay? So obviously this one here is a zoom-in version of that one, okay? And therefore you can identify that this one, um, which is a zoom-in version, which corresponds to the zoom-out version, so this is uh, this one here. All right, so you map uh, C to H. All right, does it make sense? Um, so if you look at, uh, <laughs> probably best if I bring up the slides there. Um, Okay, so we're looking at transforms and right. This is what I'm coming back to, okay? So you, um, these are the, the, the transformations. So if you have uh, a transform version of your, uh, of your input coordinates, then you have the inverse transformation happening in the, the Fourier transform. Um, another way, so that just comes from the maths, okay? Um, but if you, if you come back to, the, to this, okay? Um, this picture, the, the crop version, okay, because you zoomed in, uh, looks a bit more blurred, right? So you have uh, effectively, you know, because it looks more blurred, you know you have less high frequencies. So you can just use that, that fact and say, well, here the spectrum is still quite high, even at the very high frequencies. So remember the 
This is zero, zero here. Uh, so this is high frequencies, and the high frequencies are still um, are quite strong, uh, whereas in this one, the high frequencies are less strong. So therefore, uh, you should really map this guy C to uh, H because, um, um, because you have less of these high frequencies. All right, so that's, that's it for, for that part. Um, the other questions in these tutorials, you haven't done enough uh, yet to be able to uh, cover those. Um, so I will, I will come back to, to that at some point. Right, so um, 